Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Moon Country 3. I am Maker Freak 400, and we're going to uh, face Belcha, the boss of uh, Lake Orangatang. I kept saying Orangatang, but it's actually Orangatanga. Um, anyway, uh, Belcha is not hard at all, um, unless you suck at aiming. Uh, I recommend using Dixie for this because uh, her upper-handed or upper-haired uh, throw makes it a little bit easier because you have to. Uh, I don't know, unless you're good at doing the underhand throw with Kitty, I always have a hard time with that sometimes. But there, he's dead. Yeah, I told you he wasn't hard. Um, two, you can do, yeah, two throws if you don't mess up. If you mess up, then he'll, he'll move you forward and, and you gotta keep, uh, feeding him, or waiting until he gets more beetles. Um, it's hard to die in that, though, because there's a pit on the other side and you'll have to, uh, it will take a while to die. Unless you just, again, if you suck at throwing. Uh, once you beat him, again, you got the bonus coin. Some of the bosses will give us bonus coins, uh, some will give us useful items that we can use. Uh, the one thing about this game, unlike um, DKC2, is there's uh, items that you can get uh, and use to um, uh, uh, mostly getting towards the 100%. Um, so here we have one of the brother bears, uh, and yeah, we use the bear coins to uh, buy from this guy, mostly just this guy. There's other, I think there's one other use for bear coins, but most of the use for bear coins is to buy uh, the shell, which we'll need. And uh, we'll need this mirror as well, um, but that costs, I think, 50 bear coins, and we don't feel like saving up at the moment, so we'll come back later for him. Um, he also could tell us about the castle that's way up at the top of the map, as well as other things. Um, but now with the shell in hand, we are going to go over to this island. Um, where we have another brother bear, Barnacle. Um, Barnacle is uh, uh, missing one of the shells from his connect collection, the one we have, uh, and he'll trade it for that banana bird, which we'll need. Um, a lot of the uh, bears will give us banana birds. They'll also, you know, do some trading quests. Uh, a lot. That's what mostly what the bears are for. Um, I think there's one that the one um, the one at the top of this uh, small little island section uh, has no purpose to trade uh, for the trading quest but most of them have served some purpose uh, again for mostly getting towards a hundred percent getting the banana birds is a lot of what the brother bears do anyway we're gonna go to our next uh, world Krimwood forest which like some of the levels in this game sounds like something would you would uh, hear in Diddy Kong racing Krimwood forest just an awesome sounding name um, anyway we have the best music in the game, uh, hands down. Um, it's and I was just so um, I've read it before about the Game Boy Advance music for the, a version of this game, and I don't care what you say. It, this just is so much more epic than the other version, and not to mention the fact that there's a, a level later on that, that version does not fit at all. Uh, I don't know. This is just the uh, this is just one of the best songs I've ever heard. Um, anyway, yeah, this. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these tree levels throughout the game. Well, not a lot, but quite a few. Actually, I think there's only like four. But, um... Uh, it's... I, again, I, the one thing I like, though, that, that you never notice when you're playing, usually, but then you take notice later when you're just looking back, is the backgrounds. Um, and, and of the previous other games, too, you never really notice, but there's a lot of nice backgrounds in this game. I don't know, a lot of people don't, I guess, like this game because a lot of the, uh... Um... I guess a lot of the loca or a lot of the places you explore, like in, in DKC one, you had you know, f well, epic factory. Um, actually, no, honestly, DKC one has similar locales to this place. Uh, DKC two, of course, had you know pirate theme. It had a, you know, a theme park. It had uh, tons of epic um, pirate ship, uh, a, a beehive, um, epic castle. It had tons of that. And this game, in comparison, you have uh, a mill. Um, a boardwalk, um, yeah, I filled that, um, the little bonus game, a boardwalk, a, some trees, I mean, again, it's a lot less epic than epic pirate adventure, it's epic let's go through a mill adventure, um, but really, DKC, the, the first one didn't really have that many much, uh, epic, lo I guess, locales as in, like, place, it doesn't have that many, um, exotic places. So again, I, I don't get why people don't like this game as much. Maybe it was because it came after DKC2 and they're like, oh my god, this game is so awesome. And then this game, again, it's probably not as good. It's not as good as probably DKC2. There are th some things that are, you know, the music's definitely, there are, there is a lot of good music in my opinion, but there are, you know, every song on DKC2 was just fantastic. Um, and this song, there are some that are, like the map theme, for example. Not that it's bad, the, the, like, world map. I'm not that the little world map is bad. 
It's not bad. And yeah, I missed this one. I came back for it. Uh, it's not bad. It's just... Uh, I mean, you had the first one where you had the, the map theme being one of the most recognized songs in the first game. Um, and then you have the epic uh, you know, map theme in DKC2. And the one for this one is, again, much less... You know, it's not as great as um, the one in DKC2 or uh, definitely DKC1. DKC1's map theme is just fantastic. Um, but no, I, again, I really, I, I love this game. It's a really good game. Brother Bear's theme is also really good. Uh, what else? Um, I didn't really talk about this, but uh, when you uh, beat a level, you'll get an exclamation point next to the. Uh, if you get all the bonus barrels in a world or in a level, you get an exclamation point. Um, unlike in DKC2, though, if you get uh, the the uh, DK coin. You have to, uh, the flag, the yellow flag that appears on the flagpole, uh, that's how you tell whether or not you have it. If, if there's a yellow flag on the flagpole, then you've gotten the DK coin. And also, if the flag is fully raised and not like at half mast, you've also gotten all the ba bonus barrels. Um, I'm not, I think it, I, mean, I think a coin appears on the world map when you beat the level. I didn't check when I beat Lake Orangutanga, as I wasn't paying attention. Um, but yeah, and those monkeys, I think, are they called minkies or something? There's always some odd uh, enemy names like minkies or, I don't think they're minkies. I don't know what they are. I should look it up. I should just look up every um, uh, DK enemy name because there's some actually interesting ones. And yep, we uh, teleport to the next level. Uh, this is Riverside Race. Uh, the main thing about Riverside Race is it's a race. Um, yeah. It's a race. It's a race. No, um, but uh, Riverside Race. The main thing about uh, Riverside Race is uh, I would advise doing this in two parts. One, you'll need to beat this uh, the time at the bottom. Um, I think it's like 1:15 is the best time. But you need to beat that time um, because if you don't, uh, you won't be able to get the secret ban banana bird in this level. Uh, this this will come and play later when we meet uh, the brother bear of this level uh, world. And yeah, there's about I think there's one brother bear per each world, or there's at least one bear in each world. Um, so you will need to beat the race. Uh, I advise you do um, it once. Do it in separate parts. Uh, don't do the bonus barrels and the DK coin uh, in the same run that you're doing the um, uh, race. So do the race in one run and then just get through there as fast as possible. And then I would advise doing that first and then going back and doing the DK coin because then you can always exit the level uh, if you need to. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm uh, showing cuts as uh, the, the the one that I'm going through the whole level is the race portion. And then whenever I get to a part where I have the banana or the coin and the uh, or uh, bonus barrel, that's where you'll see a cut. Because uh, um, I could just show each level next to each other, but you don't want to see the level twice, do you? Well, you might. I don't know. Uh, also, you have bees uh, chasing you through the entire level. Um, no one likes bees. I hate. I hate bees. I hate all insects. I mean, if there are, there's some insects that are okay. They'll, they'll be out. You know, not like caterpillars. They're usually outside. Not. They're minding their own business. They're not bugging you. Okay. It's the ones that come inside. The flies. The bees. They'll come inside and they'll buzz. Around. The flying ones are the worst. And then spiders. I hate spiders. Um, I'm not little, like like afraid of spiders. I just I don't like any bugs. They're just creepy and disgusting, in my opinion. That's I I don't like bugs. Um, again, not really. I, I just don't like them. If if they're not if they're leaving me alone, I'm fine with them. I don't like them when they're like near me or anything. Um, but um, I don't know. Is there, I, there's probably someone out there who does like bugs, like like loves them and has a pet spider that crawls on its. I don't know. Um. But yeah, th this level's not too hard. Uh, and yeah, with these things, with, with getting the uh, stuff up here, you'll have uh, you can water skip with Kitty. But I advise just doing that. Um, that's about all the time I have. We beat the level. So this has been Mega Mega Freak 400 reminding you that monkeys are awesome. <laughs>